For me, electrical engineering is taking information and being able to implement that in any sort of electrical system. And I really find that fascinating and exciting because that's the way of the future and that's how technology works in today's time. The electrical engineering department here at UF is pretty diverse. Um, you can specialize in five or six different areas. Ranging from devices to circuits to signals and systems to electromagnetics and energy systems to computer engineering. It reminds me of um, a saying by Arthur C. Clarke, uh, really uh, an acclaimed science fiction writer, and he said, any technology sufficiently advanced is indistinguishable from magic. And so really one way to look at is electrical engineering is to understand the advanced technology that makes magic possible, like, like the, these smartphones. There's just, uh, just billions and billions of transistors on this wafer. And this wafer is then cut into small chips, and these chips are the devices that enable these phones. Benton and Larson ha uh, houses a lot of classrooms, and on top of that, some of the professors' offices and graduate level labs. Uh, NEB, as a matter of fact, from the second floor up, houses all the undergrad labs. So labs are an important part of undergraduate education because they really take the theory that you learn in class and allow you to apply it. One of the labs that we have in the electrical engineering department, it's actually one of the favorite labs that most students take, is a class called microprocessor applications. And so you get a board, this board right here, that has a chip. And this chip is the microprocessor. That's analogous to like an Intel chip in your computer. Majority of computers, over 90% of computers have an Intel processor chip, and that is the brains of the computer. Everything must go in the chip and everything comes out of that chip. In the microprocessor lab, students learn how to use microprocessors to program them, to interface them to various sensors, and to control, for example, motors and other things that can be used to autonomously control, for example, cars. Um, and really, it's as much as the imagination can allow. One other thing I'd like to mention about electrical engineering is that it's really pervasive. So we use electrical engineering and a lot of the technology that enables in our homes, in offices, in industry, throughout the world.